This is Pally's Lake. It looks like a swampland full of reeds and cattails, but it's much more than that. What uh, the Pelly's Lake project is, it's basically it's a natural infrastructure. It's, it's a, a dam that we have built to enhance uh, an existing wetland marsh area that allows us to capture spring runoff. Uh, we're helping to alleviate some of the strains on municipal infrastructure that's downstream uh, by holding the water back and, and slowing it down. In June, when this part of Manitoba is often bone dry, Justin Reed opens the floodgates. We have gates in our, our culverts that, uh, that are through the dam and we come out and we open the gates and start, uh, start the draining process uh, then. It's just a trickle and that's kind of the point, controlling spring flood water that threatened homes, bridges and roads. The water flows downstream, filling up reservoirs and wells owned by farmers and municipalities so they can use it to irrigate fields and golf courses. We've set our, set our levels so that the flow leaving the dam uh, doesn't cause any additional flooding problems downstream. And uh, now we get to monitor it from here on out to make sure that uh, things are flowing smoothly. Pelly's Lake works on a small scale, but could it work in cases of major flooding? The Pelly's Lake is, uh, in comparison, 93 square kilometres. So we're comparing here 146 thousand square kilometers and 93 square kilometers. This expert says natural reservoirs can help big cities by holding back the tributaries that fill up their main rivers. There are countries like France where they have a system of upstream downstream uh, you know, uh, agreements, let's put it that way, that the downstream parts which oftentimes are more urban uh, will compensate financially the upstream parts which oftentimes are more agricultural uh, to let some of that space uh, for water to go. Should we be doing thinking about the reconnaissance for that region? Hank Fainema helped design Pelly's Lake. He's developing new ways to incorporate natural infrastructure inside cities too. Urban is harder. Um, but even within urban areas, there's lots of potential. Back at Pelly's Lake, Justin Reed is a true believer. It really doesn't take uh, a lot of effort to find a place where this can work. You can pretty much use what you're, what you're given on the landscape and, and you can hold a little bit back or a lot back and, and it can be done kind of anywhere. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.